Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan, from High Media TV, and today, welcome back to Late Night News. Today, our top story is uh, some, a little bit more coverage on a previously covered story on the uh, North Korean soldiers uh, supplementing the Russian army in Ukraine. But first, our top stories. First, three killed and 14 injured in an attack on Turkish aerospace company. And Rudy Giuliani ordered to turn over New York City apartment, as well as 26 watches to Georgia election workers. And now on to our main story. If you want to see coverage of the other stories we covered in this video, check out our YouTube Shorts feed. And if you want to read the articles yourself, the archives are available for our supporters on Discord. You can do so by for as little as a Twitch Prime sub. Now on to our main story. The U.S. says evidence shows North Korea ha does have troop in Russia for the Ukraine war. Now, this was, there was originally rumors for this, but now it seems to be more confirmed. North Korea has sent 3,000 troops to Russia. The U.S. Defense Secretary says evidence shows North Korean troops are in Russia and very serious if they fight alongside Russia in Ukraine. Moscow and Pyongyang dismissed reports as fake and groundless. The United States say that the first time on Wednesday that it has seen evidence of North Korean troops in Russia and South Korean lawmakers said about 3,000 soldiers had been sent to support the the Kremlin's war in Ukraine with more to follow. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin speaking in room said it would be very, very serious if North Koreans were preparing to fight alongside Russia and Ukraine, as Kiev has alleged, although it said it has remained to see what they would be doing there. There's evidence to say that the DPRK troops are in Russia. Austin told reporters using North Korea's inform formal name, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. In Seoul, South Korean lawmakers say, said that, that DPRK has sent 3,000 troops and thousands more expected to follow. Pyongyang promised to provide the, a total of 10,000 troops whose deployment was expected to be completed by December, the lawmakers told reporters after being briefed by South Korea's National Intelligence Agency. So let's just depack this, unpack this a little bit. One of the big problems that North Korea deals with is, is that despite, you know, having, I think, the fifth largest military in the world, and, and being a very tiny country, or at least the numbers that they report to the UN are the fifth largest in the world. Um, their, their troops generally, outside of cracking down on civil dissent, don't get a lot of combat experience. So God forbid, you know, South Korean troops will do NATO drills and will get, you know, you know do drills and, you know, in in, 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 in faux combat. And, you know, Western military training has, you know, is notable for, like, actually, like, having real-world applications in combat and things of that nature. So, you know, a lot of the drills and stuff that, you know, more authoritarian-leaning nations like North Korea, Russia, places like there, do are not particularly, like, they're more for propaganda and for show, you know, like, doing shit like you know, bare knuckle boxing with your shirt off or like using your feet to like pick up logs and stuff. It's, you know, you know, not to say that Americans don't do stupid things like carrying logs for un un unbelievably long miles, but those are mainly for things like see like, like seal training or special ops training where they're trying to break you down and make and, and wash out as many people as possible type shit. You know what I mean? So ultimately I think this is more like, you know, this aid is less about, you know, North Korea aiding Russia, which, you know, obviously that you know, has diplomacy benefits, especially since they've been able to get a lot of money selling Russia's arms from the Cold War back to them. But I also think that this is also a benefit for um, North Korea because their soldiers will get combat experience they otherwise would have got, especially against Western forces. Here's the problem, though. I do not think that these tr troops are going to be used the same way as like Russian soldiers. I think they, the Russian generals are going to take these Korean soldiers and just throw them into the meat grinder and give just to give their Russian counterparts a break. You know, they, you know, it's they're basically doing what the uh, Allies during World War One wanted to do with the Americans, with just like, hey, we got some foreign soldiers, like we can send these people into the meat grinder and then we can give like, you know, we can, you know rally some support back home as to like say hey i'm not we're not sending your sons to go die immediately so i think ultimately kim jong-un might not necessarily get the uh results that he wants with this personally hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hibmedia.gg discord discord links there we'd love to have you and 
given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.